Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scott, Scotty Tradition, coming back with another video. Um, this is a contest response video um, for Card Tech 710. And he's doing a contest um, where you need to show your man cave slash card room area, and you have a chance to win some cool stuff. So go check out his channel if you haven't already. I'm going to kind of go through some uh, stuff here. Really, I have my stuff in two areas. Um, this is kind of my desk area. And as you can see, that's where I, you know, that's where I look at, watch YouTube videos, do my video editing and everything. And that's where I do a lot of my YouTube videos right there. Um, uh, and on the wall, you can see we have the, uh, um, a couple things. We have a, uh, there's a 1965 NFL championship game, uh, large print, signed by Paul Horning, Jerry Kramer, and Fuzzy Thurston. A really cool piece. And then above that, that's where I have my uh, Green Bay Packers stock up there. And here we have a uh, Forrest Gregg, rest in peace, uh, signed canvas. Uh, we have a, this is a Ray Nitschke uh, style suspension helmet. You can see the uh, 66 on the back for Nitschke. And you can see the inside there. This is like what the old school suspension helmets look like. So just a kind of a neat piece on the desk and... Got the uh, Curly Lambeau statue I just got in recently with the Bucks hat up there. Uh, so that's pretty much everything for this area. Um, I'm gonna kinda, um, we're going to take a little walk. And this is my other area right here. There's a uh, Bart Starr lacrosse shoes starting lineups uh, poster. I'm kind of on my way to my card area. Um, I've had that Brett Favre thing since I was a kid, the MVP thing with the cards in it. Uh, I think you, you could pick those up at like uh, Walmart or Target at the time, and I still have it. So pretty neat there. And I, lo I love that poster right there, that's pretty neat. Uh, you'll see a couple different more items on the way down. So we got, uh, let's start over here as we go down. Got the, uh, actually let's backtrack. So as you come down, turn away to your right. Right away, you see the uh, Don Hudson uh, Cut Auto, uh, JSA Authenticated. If you don't know who Don Hudson is, look him up. Probably one of, if not the best player to ever play it, the football. We've got a uh, Bart Star autographed jersey uh, with a TriStar Authentication. Beautiful piece. These have really shot up in value in recent years, actually. Uh, I bought it when it wasn't, kind of before he had all his health issues. So, got uh, Brewers Dodgers here. My Brewers are up two, two to one. Shocker on a Christian Yelich two run homer. I know everyone's surprised about that. Um, it's my refrigerator down here. A nice little Festivus thing, because I'm a Seinfeld nut. Uh, got a Bob Uecker. Uh, sign quoted uh, piece there with a uh, Kennedy Space Center bottle opener. And we got a uh, picture of the Kramer because every man cave needs one of those. Uh, there's a uh, wooden uh, New Glarus Brewing Company sign. Um, probably my favorite beer, New Glarus Spotted Cow. Um, in fact, I should have one right now. Um, then we got some kids stuff here because the kids have infiltrated this room and um, some you know auction catalogs there in the back um, another uh, New Glarus Brewing Company drink indigenous uh, tin sign which is pretty neat uh, there's a Wisconsin the Badger State the Badger Miller High Life mirror a um, little table here do some sorting of cards in this area um, Got the old PlayStation 2 out the other day, and I was playing with my boys, so that's why that's there. Um, up there, we got a uh, signed helmet. You know, got Bart Starr, Reggie White, Ray Nitschke, and um, Ted Hendricks on the one side. The other side's got a whole bunch of Packer Hall of Famers as well. Got some uh, bobbleheads up there. Got King Bernie, which is awesome, Game of Thrones. Um... There's my uh, little boy dollar sign picture back there with a uh, Jason Alexander sign card on the front of it there. Um, you can see it right there. 
Yeah, we have another area here. The Bart Star, uh, more lacrosse shoe stuff. Got the uh, autographed one right there, JSA authenticated, and another advertising poster in the back. I think those look really neat. Um, here is a helmet I won in the LLC group, which is like the prime primo Packer collecting group on Facebook. Um, signed by Jermichael Finley, and he even inscribed it LLC for life, which is pretty sweet. And uh, there's a, a 1944 NFL championship game program, Packers and Giants. Packers won that game. Just an, it's only 15 cents at the time. Looking through that uh, magazine's awesome, looking at all the prices of things back then and all the advertisements, it's really neat. Really cool piece, you don't see a ton of those around. Um, got the couch down here. Yeah, what's going on in the game here? Still two to one. That's cool. Um, so here's my first display case. I have the Green Bay Greats, uh, which is a from 2014 National Treasure set. You can see all the names there. And if you go up a level, there's the rest. Woodson's a really tough piece. Uh, then you got the Five and the Rogers. The Rogers jersey is a really tough piece. And then you got, I also have a Vince Lombardi cut auto in there. Um, and then above it we have the uh, Danbury set, the Packers Danbury set, which is pretty cool. Every player you see there is an NFL Hall of Famer. And there's uh, Forrest Gregg, who of course just passed away. Jim Taylor just passed away before that, last year. Uh, Kramer, Paul Horning. Bart Starr, Vince Lombardi, Willie Davis, Ray Nitschke, Herb Adderley, and Willie Wood. Love that piece right there, just so cool. Um, I love that this display case too, it's uh, made of uh, mahogany and suede. And we go to the next display case here, this is where I have uh, a lot of my Packers Team Hall of Fame set in here, and it goes all the way from modern day. Kind of go through that slowly. I may have showed this in a previous video too. So, um, you guys want to get a look at all the cards? A lot of these are in as high as grade as I can find. Um, I've got the second highest graded set on the PSA registry for the Team Hall of Fame. Um, there's some stuff on top there, some clear Hall of Fame cards and whatnot. Um, and then this other case next door here is uh, also more of the same, except we keep getting older and older. We go from uh, 71 tops, 70 tops, 68, 67. Uh, we got uh, 66, 65. Keep going back, 64 Philadelphia. Um, let's see here, 61 tops, 59 tops, and you know, a lot of these cards are just uh, top grade you'll find, um, like the Jim Taylor rookie, it's like top 20, like none graded higher, and there's a lot of cards like that you'll find in here. All the way back to 54, we have 52 uh, Bowman, large and small, right next to each other. Every card you see is a Packers Team Hall of Famer, and it's their rookie card, for the most part. Back to 1950 Bowman. 48 Leaf, 35 National Chickle. Um, I've got my other Chickles uh, put away uh, at the safety deposit box, so those aren't even at home. <laughs> those are pretty high dollar cards. So, give you guys a good uh, view of everything here. Kind of what it looks like, just to get a, a good panorama view of everything. And there is a blank space in the wall right over here, which I think would look great for putting another case. I think that's the last wall space I have. And so if I did win the contest, maybe that's where I would put those Team Insignia cards. Um, of course, I'm a Wisconsin fan, Badger fan. There's a, a picture of Vince Beagle with the axe signed and scripted on Wisconsin after they beat Minnesota. Love that piece right there. 
Look at that face. Um, and then I have my other case here. Uh, this case has some of the top 250 cards in the hobby. Um, yeah, Costanza and Jeter, ironically, next to each other. Um, because it's Jeter who he's talking to in this uh, scene, right? Uh, yeah, I think it is Jeter who he's talking to in that scene right there, which is pretty hilarious. Yeah, we got some of the cards right there. Bob Yuka rookie on the back left there, the grade of an eight. Um, there's the Pee Wee Reese card, one of my all-time favorites. Sorry for the glare there, guys. There's the Bob Gibson I just got in. Absolutely love that card, one of my favorites. Should... I think it did make the Baseball Card Hall of Fame, actually, so I can't complain about that one. It was the Pee Wee Reese that did not. I think the Gibson made it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we'll continue along here with some more baseball. These are all top 250 cards in the hobby. Uh, some more base, uh, football actually up here. And then there's uh, the Yelich I just got in, the uh, jersey variation. There's a rookie refractor, Otto of Yelich, Hira, Robin Yount. There's a Giannis, Prism and a 10. Oscar Robertson rookie, there's a Star Mantle card. And we've got like Bart Star, Game Use, Jersey, Reggie White, three color jersey, Kramer Inscription, Favre and Amon Green, Duel, Greg, there's some really cool jersey cards. Uh, JJ Watt, TJ Watt, Duel Auto. So there's all kinds of cool stuff in there. And all my other cards I, I have uh, put away in the safety deposit box, so. But this is what I kind of keep around here. Cases are UV protected, so I don't have to worry about sunlight or anything like that. Plus, it's kind of in a darker area anyways. So, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Um, thanks for letting me take you around. Hope you all enjoyed it. Any questions? or um, comments, just post below. Thanks for watching my channel. You guys have a great weekend.